You can uh, read the box clearly. We got some Black Forest Industry bits. Now, I've been talking about it for a couple weeks, so you guys probably already know that this is, isn't really cool that. Thanks guys, much appreciated. And uh, isn't, oh, they got new stickers. That is, that's different, way different. I'm used to the tree. What is this supposed to, it's like a fire breathing fox. I dig it, nice. Anyway, there's another sticker. Hell yeah. All right, I'm really excited to see if one of these is an upgrade. I mean, technically they are both. This is the one that isn't that much of an upgrade, but so, ooh, nice. Stage two, engine mount. You can see you got the green inserts instead of the black. Oh yeah, the durometer on this is gonna be uh, pretty stinking high. So you got that and it should just be new bolts, new hardware. Oh, forgot about this. Um, I got the whole kit, cause I said, why not? So if anybody wants this stage two insert, for I think version one, I don't know, whatever this one is, it looks like that. I don't need this, so that can be given away or whatever. See, new bolts for that. Boom. And this one right here will be the biggest upgrade. Because originally when they did trans mounts, they just like took apart the OEM one and then put their own. Um, stuff in them, like their own, whatchamacallit, what can I see the word? Their own rubber. They replaced the OEM rubber with their own rubber and kept the OEM design. Well now they have this nice billet design that should be a lot more sturdy for the trans. And having a manual trans, um, you definitely want that bitch to be sturdy, so this would be nice. This would be very, very pretty. I'm excited. So I'm going to put these in tomorrow, and then we have autocross. Sunday, the car is probably, it's gonna take a couple hundred miles for you to break in. So that's like a 250 mile road trip on itself, plus racing, so. Should be pretty dope. Very exciting. So stay tuned for this video coming out next week. What is up guys, next day here. Um, sorry about being shirtless, it's literally, it's 101 degrees out, it's even hotter in the garage. There's barely any airflow. I'll try and keep my, my titties out of this. But uh, so we're looking. We got the, the stage one engine mount in there right now. And uh, clearly my intake and battery and all that's in. But we got the stage two OEM style uh, trans mount over there. Um, of course, you guys literally just saw the clip. You can kind of tell the finishing, the finish is way different. This is like more matte. Loud ass Camaro, Jesus. And this one's more like a just raw CNC, you know, you can kind of see the lines from the CNC machine. I think I like that a little bit better. I just wish they'd do green or, you know, like this is black, now it's gonna be green. I wish this was black for stage two, but what can you do? Anyway, so I'm gonna throw up a time lapse real quick, pull out the catch can and then uh, the intake and the battery. We'll get all that stuff out of the way so we can start pulling these mounts out. Alright guys, pretty simple to get that motor mount out. You can see here exactly where it goes. Now I have the wood on the jack, um, under the oil pan to support it, very simple, and a couple bolts, what size are we messing with here, then we got a 13, a 15, and a, a 19 to get them out, and uh, here's a comparison of the two, really nothing different here, just the finish. Oh, and they got they put their logo on there now too, which is that's dope. I'm gonna make sure that that bolt up top's tight. Actually, yeah, that's nice. I, that's a lot cleaner. The countersunk looking. That's nice. Very nice. And then these uh, my old mounts are already called for, so 
Don't ask. There you go. There's the motor side. I thought I had the time lapse on. I apologize. I do not. But it does look good in there. You can't even really see the green unless you're looking for it. And I did. I really dig the uh, it not being like a bolt head up top. You get a nice flush, flush look there. And it's not shiny. It's kind of matte. I think it matches in there a little bit better. Looks good. I don't know what the torque specs are, so I tighten everything down super tight. And then I'll, I'll take a, uh, a marker and mark on the bolt and on the motor mount, like where it is, so I know if the bolts come loose. Um, yeah, now we'll take off the intake, take out the battery, and do this side. All right, guys, so intake's out, battery out, battery mounts out. There's three tens on this. One, two, three back here in the corner, okay? You'll get it. I don't know, because I, I, a lot of people don't have this metal ECU cage, so it's a plastic one, but mine is metal, so I just kind of unpopped it, moved it over, and you got this panel right here that's under it, and I just gave it a yank off. There's like two spots where it clips down, I guess, and you can see kind of here. You got two bolts back there, two bolts on the other side, and then those, these three up here, and the motor mount, or the trans mount comes out. And the design of that one is way way different than this one so it's gonna be interesting I'm not really sure what these tabs are even for it might be for the ECU or the battery I don't have anything attached on mine unless that's where those 10 mils go down for the battery tray but I don't think so so we're gonna find out here in a minute all right guys finally got it out now you can see the difference this is the OEM style but this is a black force industries mount this is the way they used to sell their motor mounts you can see it's got the green the green insert in there, all right? Because um, it is a stage two mount, but it uses this OEM style. You know, they, they didn't have a design made up back then yet. So this should be a significant upgrade, I think. Um, just the way everything works, I don't know. At least I hope so. I still don't understand what this is for. It does have threads in both. So I guess that is for where the battery box goes or something, but I'm gonna make sure these Allen keys are tight. The one side's a little loose here. But uh, we'll top that in. It looks very nice. So much better than this. Hell yeah. All right. Well, she's in. Like I said, I don't have the torque specs. If I find them before I put this video out, I'll include them. But uh, this definitely looks way freaking better than uh, what was in there. So got what I wanted. Very happy. With a Marin, I will uh, go ahead and replace Everything, like I said, with this bottom piece, once you pop the ECU out the top bracket here, boom, I just swung it around, set it up against, like, I kind of like tucked it right here, and then you just pop this baby up, and you're good to go. You don't have to, this like comes apart, this splits open, there's a bunch of wires inside, you don't have to do that. Just fucking give her a good yeet up, and you're good to go. Now we'll put the battery tray in, then the battery, then the intake, and it's done. You can start it up and see how these vibrations feel for now. Like I said, we got autocross. This weekend, we'll really put them to the test, see if I can feel the difference. But uh, I'm excited. So I think the old ones were 72A durometer, and these are like 85 is what it said. So it's like a pretty significant stiffness upgrade. So Mod by mod, we're going a little bit more race car. I'm excited. Said, sorry about being shirtless, super hot. Now it's starting to rain, but here's the first start. See how it goes. I expect it to feel like a decent vibration and it's cold start. I disconnect my battery so you gotta do this steering wheel thing. But it doesn't feel no different on idle, on cold start at least. See when it settles down. All right. Um, idle doesn't feel any different. Take a quick circle here around the block. You can feel a little bit. It is a little bit stiffer. Well, we'll have to really see because the oil temperature is not up, so I can't really get on it. Friends here, I gotta go over her car before she takes this trip to Tennessee. So I wanna 
get that done and get showered and I can get in here and really go play around the night or something if we don't just start drinking right after this but it feels good I'm not gonna release this video until after the track day Sunday so I'll let you guys know exactly how I feel about it and once again I apologize for not having a shirt on it is just way too damn hot why are you mesmerized by this? Scoot! Good. What is up guys? I just packed up the car about to go to Amarillo for the weekend We got a nice meet going tonight. Hopefully some racing after that and then autocross in the morning um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be putting this video out like this weekend or what but uh so my boy Ryan um, We met through the channel actually and I went out and we met up in Albu yeah, in Albuquerque last summer and then I rode well he had his car I had my car we rode um, out to California where he lives. He was he had bought the car and drove it across the United States. Um, anyway, so we met up. I stayed with him for Big SoCal Euro down in San Diego last year. Uh, he has a also blue. Oh my God, um, golf R. But he sent me a package and uh, he said it was for the channel. But then also my birthday was coming up. He's like, well, just consider it a birthday gift as well, kind of I guess. So. Here I am opening it, and this is super dope because I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Like I didn't read it, but there's four little boxes in here, and APR just came out with uh, something I actually want, like a week or so ago. This has to be. Though. It has. To. There's no way it's not. Yeah. This. Hell yeah. Go Ryan. Nice. Look at that. Yo. Oh, focus camera. Yeah. Callbacks. Nice. Hell mother freaking yes. Yes. Well, I already got my tools um, packed up in the car, but I guess I'm going to pull my tools back out and swap these bad boys in. Dude, Ryan. Thank you. Right on. You should go on it right now. All right, old cool packs are out. New ones are here. It is slightly, I mean, everything is kind of like a slightly different blue. You can't see it as well on camera. I mean, you can see that they're not the same, which is fine. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. I just, I love blue. So, I'm gonna smack all these in and, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Well, there we are, boys. Damn, it looks good. It looks funny under the LED and stuff, but definitely looks good in there. Very, very, so happy. Like, this is awesome. Hell yeah. I am, like, ecstatic. I'm gonna go, man, I'm gonna go race tonight. Like, this is perfect. The motor mounts and the cool packs. Weekend full racing. Hell yeah. I'll let you guys know if I feel a difference. I don't, I mean, they're, they're actually like proven to um, have a stronger spark and that definitely helps the car out. So we'll see. Well, if you guys didn't see the video from Tuesday at Autocross, I kind of went over the same things, but uh, be sure you go back and watch it if you haven't. But so motor mounts, um, pretty much I bought them because I wanted the motor and trans to be a little bit more stiff than what they were. You can kind of, could kind of feel it um, before in the higher RPMs um, going to shift or just letting off in general, like at autocross, um, banging the rev limiter all the time. And you can sometimes really feel like the motor going back, you know, after you let off the throttle. And I want it to stay in its like natural position for the higher RPM upshifts and the downshift rev matching and all that. It just makes it easier on, on me when everything stays where it's supposed to stay. Um, you know with the shifter cables and this and that and Volkswagen just did not put a very good manual trans in this thing in general so anything really helps um, Me and especially as like, you know a hardcore driver um, Anyway, yeah, it feels great it feels awesome. It's exactly what I wanted I had uh, Black Force Industry stage 1 and stage 2 trans um, motor and trans mounts on my mark 4 Jetta and mark 4 R32 um, 
I should have just went stage two motor off the bat, but then they came out with this uh, updated version for the trans, so it kind of worked out. And then I gave the motor mounts to my friend Renee and um, Amarillo. She's got a 2019 Mark 7.5 DSG Golf R that's wrapped in this super, super dope orange I'll show you here. Uh, it's like color shifting, and uh, she's already got a cob on it and a few minor mods. You get the wrap, the cob. She's got 17s thrown on. I think they're going to get spring soon, and then they're going to go AMS for all the main stuff, intercooler downpipe. Um, it's an intercooler downpipe intake. You get the real nice intake from them. Our car's going to be dope. We just got to get her out of her nervousness shell, and then get her to start coming out and racing. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even think it's going to take much mods of hers in her car to like just wax me at the drag strip. You guys know. DSG cars just eat me alive in a straight line. It upsets me sometimes, but I'll I'll get there one day. I'll, I'll get into the tens maybe. We'll see with enough rate reduction and uh, some some E85 and the right altitude. I might be able to make it one day. Anyway, um, so motor mounts A plus plus. I don't know notice any extra NVH noise, vibration, harshness at idle with the AC on or off. Highway cruising 80 85 mile an hour. Cruise control on. AC on, I don't notice anything bad. Um, I'm also kind of deaf, kind of dumb, so take it with a grain of salt, but they feel great, especially from a performance standpoint. Love it. And then you got the cool packs. Once again, shout out to the homie Ryan. Um, it's just so freaking awesome of him to do that. Um, I personally love the color of them. I know they don't match the car, and if you go and look at APR's posting of them originally, they posted the blue coil packs to look like they match the blue golf R's perfectly. And then uh, they're more tealy. They're more like a ocean blue or a baby blue. I think it would match that cornflower blue GTI perfectly. And to be honest, I like that blue way more than the blue on my car. Um, I don't know if any guys in the BMX back in the day, but I had an Aaron Ross Sunday Funday frame in the ocean blue. And I also had these shoes. I think they were Etnies and Odyssey came together for a co collab on a shoe and it had that blue and I also have blue shoestrings I think I used as a belt at one point back in the scene kid days <laughs> but uh yeah I just I, I really love that blue even though it doesn't match perfectly in the bay none of the other blue things really match I mean the precision race work stuff kind of match but the the ethanol sensor and the fuel rail has been in there longer than the uh what's it called the boost tap and the boost tap sees less heat than the other two so the colors are kind of off and then the Racing line silicone doesn't match those, and now these don't match those. They're all pretty close though, but I'd like to actually wrap or get my car painted that, that cornflower ocean blue um, eventually, because I really like, I really, really like that ocean blue. But as for power on the coil packs, I don't feel a difference. There's been people that got on the dyno with no changes to the ECU and swap coil packs and have made like somewhere like five to eight wheel horsepower. I don't know what part of the rev range. I don't know if their coil packs were 80,000 miles old and then they swapped in these new ones like there's so many variables, but I was gonna buy them either way I mean the color blue and then potential um, Stronger spark and especially the people like me that are running 30 plus pounds of boost. I mean Why wouldn't you want a stronger spark? So I mean they're, they're made by Holly or Holly owns APR now or whatever so I'm sure you know they got Holly and MSD and they, they know their ignition coils so, like you know that's what all the the V8 LS guys, everyone get, you know does Holly MSD stuff. So I trust that it's a it's a quality, non bullshit product. So anyway, any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.